Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to deep load Discord to lower its memory usage and make it faster in general. For those who don't know, Discord was built on Electron, which is a Chromium based framework. What a lot of us like to do is we like to run Discord in the background while we game, but this would be the equivalent of running Chrome tabs in the background too, which is what we don't want because it takes up too much memory. So to deep load Discord, the first thing we're going to do is close it. To close this, we're going to go over to Task Manager, click on Discord, and then click on End Task. That's just going to make sure that Discord gets closed properly. The next thing we're going to do is type Windows key R and this run pop-up should open. And here you're going to type percent local app data percent. Once you do that, you want to click OK and it should take you to a bunch of folders right here. You want to want to click on the Discord folder right here. And in this, you want to make sure that you delete the right files properly. Otherwise, if you delete the wrong files, your Discord is going to break. So what we're going to do is hold control, click on update.exe, scroll setup.log, discord updater, and packages. There might also be a downloads folder right here. If you guys have that, you can delete that as well. To delete it, you're just going to click on the X on the top. Next, what you're going to want to do is head over to the app folder right here. This is this has most of the core files that Discord uses when it gets ran. In here, you want to head over to modules and you're going to hold control and click cloud sync, dispatch, URL pack, game utils, crisp, RPC, and spell check. Once you delete these, there should be these five folders left over in here. If that's the case, then you've done it right. You want to go back to the app folder on the top and then go to the low cost folder. This has a bunch of language packs that Discord uses that you don't really need. To highlight all of these, all you have to do is press Ctrl A, and then you want to hold Ctrl and select the pack that you use. I speak English and I'm in the United States, so I'm going to hold Ctrl and click the NUS pack right here. Then I'm going to click Delete. Once you do that, your Discord should be fully deep loaded. Another thing too is that you might have this Discord shortcut right here. But what this does is it opens the updater for Discord, which is what you don't want. So you can throw this Discord shortcut in the trash right here. And if you want to create your own shortcut, all you have to do is right click the discord.exe and then click create shortcut right here. And then you could drag the shortcut wherever you want. Now for those of you who are really trying to squeeze the most performance out of your PC, you can do a couple of things in Discord as well. One of the things you could do is close your direct messages. You don't want to have too much direct messages as these do take up a little bit of memory usage. Same thing for friends, pending friend requests, and people you blocked. If they're not trying to contact you, you can just unblock them. There's no point in keeping them blocked. Another thing that you could do is leave servers as well. Some servers also take up memory usage, so try not to be in too many. And there are a few things that you can do in the Discord settings as well. In privacy and safety, you could go down here and uncheck these three options right here. This is just data collecting, but if you do own a Discord server just like me, you might want to keep these on as these do give you some access to some of the features that are useful. In clips as well, you want to disable clips as well. Don't turn this on. In friend requests, this is just personal preference, but if you could take them off, then that's pretty useful. In appearance, you want to go down here go to compact and uncheck the show avatars in compact mode that just helps it a little bit in accessibility you could go down here and uncheck these three options enable reduced motion automatically play gifs and play animated emoji these are pretty useless you don't really need any of this in voice and video you can go down you can uncheck hardware acceleration and down here as well you can uncheck these three settings in screen share Another thing that you can uncheck as well is debug logging. This is pretty useless, but you will have to restart your Discord after unchecking this. In Windows settings, you want to make sure that Discord doesn't open on startup, so keep these off. In advance, you also want to make sure hardware accelerated is unchecked too. This is going to make me restart my Discord, so I'm not going to do that. And lastly, in game overlay, you want to make sure that this is off. Game overlay is pretty useless. You shouldn't want this on. It takes up memory usage as well. But yeah, that's it I have in today's video. If you guys want to see more videos or have any suggestions, make sure to join my Discord server and like and subscribe to the video. That's it for today's video. See you in the next one.